Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my sewing lair. Here is a uh, square and square quilt block. It's four inches, courtesy of Generations Quilt Patterns. Please check them out. They have lots of interesting stuff that was helpful to me in my quilting journey to include free PDF patterns for foundation paper piecing. And I think that square and square block is such a great way to use up scrap fabric. And my reason for being with you today is to share with you how my Juki Kiri makes foundation paper piecing very easy and enjoyable in addition to saving thread and cutting down on repetitive pieces. So I have here a, um, I've already sewn two corners. So my goal is not to show, show you how to paper piece, but rather the features of this machine. So what we want to do is have a locking stitch here and here where we start, where we, where we start and stop. And that's what this machine does so beautifully. So let's sh let me show you how easy it is to select that on the machine. Okay, here we are at the control panel. And one of the lovely things about this machine is it really is quite intuitive. And this button here has your choices for what you want to do for your pattern start and stop. So what we would like to do is, or I would like to do, is I want a locking stitch at the beginning. So I'm going to choose that. A locking stitch at the end. I want it to cut the thread at the end and I want my presser foot to lift at the end. And think about all that automation and say yes that's what I want to do. Now let's see how this works. Remember on paper piecing we're always working back you know what words. So I have flipped my work. I've glue basted this on my my edge so I know it's not going to shift and I know I have no distortion on it. So I'm going to line my machine up with where I want to start, you can use your knee lift. Now remember, I want a locking stitch to start. So I'm just pressing my foot on the pedal. You can see it's going up and down. And I'm sewing on my line. This machine is very quiet. And I just, in one stitch beyond, I'm hitting this button. And it's doing the locking stitch. And it's clipping my thread. How lovely is that? Flipping it over, line it up on the big honking bevel. The devil is in the bevel plate. Start with my foot. Get my locking stitch. And tell it that I'm done. So it's clean, I don't have a lot of threads, and I have a beautiful block ready to be trimmed up. So if you do a lot of foundation paper piecing and your machine does not allow for um, some automation in terms of starting and stopping programming, as well as automatic thread cutting, and you're thinking about getting a new machine that's got lots of uh, bed space. There's many options out there, not just the Juki, but um, I am just really thrilled. And this is a block I make a lot of. I actually make a three inch finish block, which is smaller than this and it allows me to use a, a lot of smaller pieces here, which I enjoy doing. So that's about the the, <laughs> The, the extent of my scrappy type of quilting. So I like controlled scrap and um, I love these economy blocks. So I hope that um, demonstrated a feature that you might find useful on this um, Juki Kiri machine. Thanks for watching. See you soon.